Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can check for iCloud lock when you are purchasing a uh, secondhand iPhone. So when you are buying a an iPhone uh, secondhand, there are two uh, different scenarios that you may have. Now one is that the seller have already reset the device and now you have to uh, set up your device from the beginning. Otherwise, they have already set up the device and you can see uh, the device will look something like this. So here's how you can check, you see if it's iCloud lock. So if the device has already been set up and it looks something like this, what you want to do is first, to make sure that it is not locked on the lock screen. If the lock screen require a password, you need to tell them to unlock it. And then from the home screen like this, you want to swipe across and find settings. So look for this settings icon and you tap on it. When you tap on it, you need to tap on the back key if it's not already in the settings page. And you want to see it says settings. And here you can see it got my name on it. If it got anyone's name on it, that means the phone is locked to that iCloud ID. You will need to ask them to lock out. So you can tap on that and then go all the way down and tap on the sign out button. Now, if they are unable to sign out, then that means your phone is locked to that um, person's and you may not be able to use it. So that is very important that you check just see if it's uh, iCloud lock. So you can ask them to sign out and if you want to be sure, you can also ask them to do a full reset. So that will erase everything. So ask them to erase all content and settings and then tap on erase now to uh, totally uh, reset the device. Now another scenario is this, uh, when you come, they might give you the phone uh, look something like this, where you need to set up the phone. Now even though if the phone appears to be reset it back to the factory default, sometimes it still can be locked. So you want to make sure you go through the setup process. So you choose English or your language, and we're going to go down and uh, select the correct region. And then we're going to choose tap uh, set up manually. And then connect to a Wi-Fi or you can insert a um, SIM card. It's best if you bring a SIM card along as well to make sure that your phone is also not network lock. If it is network lock, then you have trouble uh, making calls in that region. You might need to use your phone in a different uh, region or different country. So now the phone is now actually trying to activate, so it's communicating with the Apple server to check to see if this phone has any iCloud ID locked to it. If it is, and if it's uh, failed to authenticate uh, the phone is unlocked, it will come back with a, uh, an email or a, um, an iCloud address that you need to sign in. Now in this case, you can see it goes directly to the data and privacy, so I can tap on continue. And then I can tap on set up touch ID later. And I'm going to choose don't use. And then I'm going to choose don't use passcode. And I'm going to choose don't use passcode. And then we're going to choose don't transfer apps and data. And in here on this screen, Apple ID this is very, it's very important to that you check to make sure that the Apple ID in here is blank. If it has someone else email address in here, then that means your device is locked to someone else account. Now, you will need to ask them to remove it. If they are unable to remove the, I, the um, Apple ID or the iCloud account, then do not purchase that mobile device. Because uh, if they cannot sign in, then you will not be able to use, you will not be able to proceed to the next step and uh, this device is then simply uh, become uh, useless. And that is quite important that you check. If it shows blank here, then you just tap on forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. So you just tap on that and then tap on set up later in settings and choose don't use. And then choose agreed, continued, and then continued, disable or enable location services and choose set up later in settings. 
and then set up later instance headings I don't share continued and get started and I'm just gonna go back and customize later and I'm just gonna tap on continue until you get to your home screen now once you get to the home screen tap on settings and you can see here it says sign into your iPhone now what this means is that your phone is not locked to an Apple account and you will need to create your own uh, Apple ID if you don't have one you can tap on here to create one if you do have one then you can just put in your own Apple ID and that's it that's how you can check to make sure the second hand phone that you purchase is not uh, Apple iCloud lock if it is locked don't buy it um, you can have a lot of trouble later uh, such as uh, updating the software even though if you can go in here and use it and if it's not um, the screen is not locked but if the Apple ID account is locked to someone else you still run into trouble later on so it's best to uh, purchase a phone uh, that is not uh, locked to iCloud thank you for watching this video please uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos